Greetings and welcome to Integrity Biofeedback Academy's presentation of Q&A for your Infinity app. We're happy to see that so many of you have joined us this morning and uh, I am going to very quickly move on today because we want to open this up for questions about your Infinity app and um, we left off the week before last with some people who had some interesting questions and so we want you to be typing in those questions as soon as you can because we want to make sure we have the opportunity to answer your questions and for the first moment here today I am going to shift this over to Sharon and let her have a word with you right now thank you I'm glad that you've joined us today too um, as many of you are aware a lot has happened since last week's Wednesday basic training call we know because you, like us, have been bombarded with a lot of promotional emails and Facebook promotions for upgrading your iLife Infinity app to the Genius app and new training available from Dr. Policano. Uh, this, again, unfortunately has created many questions and much confusion. We understand your concerns and ask that you direct any questions in regards to this to Karen Williams, who, as you know, is the CEO of Quantum Life, and Brenda has her email address up there on the screen. Her email address is Karen at quantum-life.com, Karen at quantum-life.com, because truthfully, we at Integrity Biofeedback Academy have no role in what is taking place in that regard. So again, if you would address all of your questions about the emails that you're receiving I know as well to Karen at quantum-life.com. First of all, we do want to reiterate that what was stated last week that we have been assured by Karen Williams that Quantum Life and the Infinity app are strong and are moving forward. Just really want to make that clear. Secondly, Integrity Biofeedback Academy remains the trainers for Quantum Life. We are not employed by Quantum Life, we never have been, and we remain autonomous but supportive of Quantum Life and Karen Williams. Five years ago, Quantum Life contacted us, Integrity Biofeedback Academy, Brenda and I, to provide an internationally recognized certified education program for Infinity users and Infinity practitioners, which we did through the Natural Therapies Certification Board. The Stress Management Certification Program is still the only education for the Infinity app that is certified by the NTCB. May I just say that again? <laughs> the Stress Management Certification Program is still the only education for the Infinity app that is certified by the Natural Therapies Certification Board. That also includes the new Infinity Proficiency Training that we at IBA are offering, and I will talk about that in a little bit. So the bottom line is that Quantum Life and Kieran Williams are doing their utmost to make sure the Infinity app and the future plans of the app are moving forward and that Integrity Biofeedback Academy certified education program and courses are offered through Quantum Life. Again, if you have any specific questions about anything other than how to use your Infinity app, including any technical support you need during this time, please email Karen at quantum-life.com. Karen at quantum-life.com. She welcomes your insights and your questions and uh, any support that you may need. That is still intact and strong, and we're glad to relay that message to you. Brenda? Yes. 
Yes, yes, I am with you. Uh, I'm going to turn this over to uh, Sharon actually for a minute here because she has been asked today to talk about the proficiency uh, portion of our new training and we are excited about it and so um, we just I'm just turning it over to her and go ahead take it away continue to take it away <laughs> Okay, thank you. Yes, I am so excited about this course. Many of you have been asking for this. For Some of you have been with the Infinity app and Quantum Life for several years, and it's like, why isn't there a course like this? And so, yes, we've heard you, and we're putting the finishing touches on this, and we're very excited to be uh, sharing this information with you today. Uh, it's exciting news about this course as well. Uh, let me just go through this really quickly, as uh, you're also thinking of questions that you can ask about your Infinity app. This course provides a basic yet thorough step-by-step -step guide. What an idea on how to navigate the iLife Infinity app, whether you're using it personally on yourself, your family or friends, or with clients and patients. And I know we have both types of students um, that are on these calls. Instruction on every profile within the Infinity app is included in one nice setting and how to use each one effectively. You're also going to learn in this course energetic intervention, why and how the Infinity app works and the scientific basis for biofeedback and the use of the device such as the Infinity app. You're going to also learn the origin of disease and disorders. What's the bottom line? It will also help you to know how to use your Infinity app most effectively and proficiently. The benefits of the Infinity app. This is great for marketing what you do with other people and just talking to people about what the Infinity app does and what the benefits they can receive from it. And then most importantly, the legal guidelines of using biofeedback and devices such as this in a professional setting. That is so important. You know, we preach that a lot. And uh, so that's, all of that's included in the course, not just the step-by-step -step and how to use the Infinity app, but all of this as well. The course also includes a complete manual, step-by-step -step with all the information that I've just gone over and the course objective is in that manual as well. It's a manual designed by Integrity Biofeedback Academy. Hours and hours put into that to help you again, not just hear the information on uh, the recording and the PowerPoint presentation and the video presentation that you'll get with this course, but also to be able to follow along in the manual step by step and have it for reference later on as well. And of course, the instructor for this is Brenda Judah. 15 years of experience using several biofeedback devices, including the Infinity app with clients and as an NTCB certified biofeedback instructor. Now here's a novel idea. Why not get trained in your biofeedback device with someone who is biofeedback certified? Well, that's a novel idea and we're glad to bring that to you as well. But wait, not only that, this is the most exciting part about this. Well, maybe not the most exciting, but I'm happy to report to you that this course too has now been approved by the Natural Therapy Certification Board. This has been a work in progress for uh, many months, um, but there it is. And I just noticed, yes, I do have infinity misspelled for you left brainers like me. Oh, sorry about that, but it shows that you're paying attention. Um, it has been approved by the Natural Therapy Certification Board, that international board that all of our courses and certification programs are approved by, and we are so happy to report that this course as well has now been approved. So you can either uh, take it as part of the uh, NTCB certification uh, program or separately, doesn't matter. How much would you pay for this course? I know it's worth more than what we're charging, but there it is, it's only $199, that includes the PowerPoints, the video presentation, the manual, and uh, the things that you get with that. So 
only $199. Again, this is part now of the stress management certification program that we offer for Infinity iLife uh, users and practitioners. Uh, but you can take it separately as well if you're uh, not in the stress management program. If you take it and you decide, you know what, I really am excited about this whole thing. I'm getting bombarded by family and friends uh, and uh, people that I network with that really uh, want me to do this as a profession. We can transfer those credits now that it's NTCB certified into the certification program within a year's time and you can get credit for that not have to pay extra money or anything to do that and take the rest of the program this is part of the technician uh, certification uh, it's one of the first courses that you would take anyway so that would be just perfectly uh, available to do that for you so uh, again, if you're interested in this course or in the certification program in general, uh, you can go on our website, biofeedbackedu.com, under the order registration tab. I believe the course is there now that you can uh, order right off the website. If you have questions about the course or about the certification program, you can either call us, our number is on the screen there, 239-221-8977. 239-221-8977 or you can always email us at integritybiofeedback at gmail.com integritybiofeedback at gmail.com I know when you're getting involved in the process of certification you may have questions and it's so nice to be able to talk to somebody personally to make sure that you're on track we other have also other certification programs for biofeedback that's available as well so if you want to talk to me or Brenda just call us and we'll set up a little appointment that we can um, talk to you about where what your goals are professionally personally in education and uh, help you to get on track with what you need and so forth so um, thank you for uh, listening to this brief commercial uh, interruption sort of um, but again, we are so happy to be here and uh, providing the education you need, especially uh, being NTCB certified. That sets us apart from everything else that's out there. I just will say that. That's coming your way. Ask whoever you're getting emails from, whether wherever it's coming from, what is your credentials? Are you credentialed with or international board and um, that's just so important uh, to keep you safe and all of us safe and certified um, with validity and what we're providing for ourselves our family and friends and our clients as well there you go, there you go. Now, now Brenda back to you and we do have some questions coming in well, that's great, and thank you, Sharon. As always, I want to just move uh, along here. Thank you for those of you who um, have been on the calls with us, and uh, we do appreciate that, as Sharon said. And also, I just wanted to uh, put this back up again, Karen at quantum-life.com. That is her email. And I also just wanted to make mention real quickly about the infinity um, update to the 2.0. That is uh, certainly in the works, but we're working with a programmer, and so I just want to make sure that everybody understands that we don't, the, the due date, as I like to call it, our due date has been pushed back just a little bit, and we don't actually have uh, an actual date at this moment in time, but it is being worked on, okay? So I don't want anybody to, to give up. And uh, the programmer was on last week, and um, he's doing a great job, so we're just kind of... Um, uh, Karen has been working with him, I know, diligently and, and a lot of other people, and so things are moving ahead. We had hoped to have it for the conference, but I don't think that is going to take place, so I just don't want anybody to be disappointed, and I do want it to be clear that um, we are moving forward with that, but um, as anybody who works with computers knows, <laughs> which is me because while Sharon was talking I couldn't tell you a single word she said because my computer was having some kind of meltdown and so I was jumping all over the place so hopefully um, <laughs> I'll get that back together but anyhow uh, I just wanted to make that note to all of you so that you understand that uh, it is coming out but we are not actually sure of the date at this moment in time so okay 
this is some information that I think Sharon had on her uh, uh, presentation that she just gave you as well and we'll put that up again in a little bit. As you know we always want to start out with some information for you that has some really neat encouragement for you. This is, uh, as everybody knows, Deepak Chopra and this is what he has to say. The human body is a river of intelligence, energy, and information that is constantly renewing itself in every second of its existence. Now, why is that important to all of us who use the Quantum Infinity app? Well, I'll tell you, because so many of you have had questions uh, regarding this in just the recent past. Uh, people who were putting somebody on and then for one reason or another would run first your DaVinci screen and then have to get off of that DaVinci screen and then come back maybe an hour later or you know even uh, a less time had, um, had taken place in between the first DaVinci and then they get back on the system and they do another scan and they found that the numbers were different. The stress potential values were different. I wanted you to know, not just from Brenda Judah, because sometimes that doesn't feel like it's, you know, the most, uh, what do I want to say, educated uh, one here on the planet, and certainly I'm not, but I want you to take this information from people who know, from the scientists, from the researchers, from the people that are working with this, and Deepak Chopra, everybody knows him, and I want you to know that your energy is changing every single second. So every single time that you offer that scan, the next time that you do it, you will get a different stress potential value, even if it is in the same day. Why? Because you have already shifted that person's body by offering them the signal. Now, why is that important to you? It's exciting to you. It should be exciting to you because you have already seen that what you're working with and what you're doing uh, with that particular person or yourself, you're having an impact instantaneously instantaneously so it's very very important that you know that this is very very important too the best teachers are those who show you where to look but don't tell you what to see Sharon and myself we want to help you to learn to use your devices to the fullest efficacy of that device this infinity app is huge okay it is a huge program it is a fantastic program it is a program that has everything you will ever need within this program and our job is not to teach you exactly how to use it with your clients because as you know every single client is different and their energy and their energy field is different so what we want to teach you is we want to lay the the uh, the foundation so that you have an understanding of what it is that you're doing and how important what you're doing is and how powerful so that's our job and uh, so as Sharon said the questions are starting to come in and we want to answer them right now um, Karen wants to just chat a minute about the conference is that what I'm getting here let me do that let oh if she'd like to uh, say a few words about that that'd be great uh, Karen I have unmuted you if you are available. Good morning. I'm here. Good <laughs> hey, um, morning. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for um, for mentioning that. And yeah, we'd just love to say a bit about the conference. Um, we're all going to be there. Brenda, Sharon, myself, uh, Nina Silva is going to be there. Dr. Frank Charles is going to be there. Uh, Mary Hardy, Gail Mack, and Nina Silva is yeah. um, a guest speaker. So very exciting. Had a wonderful conversation with Nina Silva. She's very excited to be there. Um, and I would also like to mention that she's also doing a conference in October. If anybody's interested in going to that, that's in Arizona. Um, so we will be getting lots of information out very soon with the schedule, the speaker uh, list of speakers and bios and um, summary of what everybody's going to be speaking about. So lots to look forward to. and. It will be a great opportunity to just reunite. Last year's conference was amazing, and um, we will be we will have the Quantum Infinity Two um, 
we're not quite sure whether it's going to actually going to be ready to launch at the conference, but we will certainly be a lot further along than we are right now. Um, so that's also going to be a very exciting time to be able to speak more about that and show some of the panels and the enhancements that have been added to the current quantum infinity. So and what are what are the dates of the conference and where is it? It's November 4th, 5th and 6th and it's at the Embassy Suites which is a Hilton hotel and it's in Orlando. And Pam Gilmore, um, who I've known for a long, long time, she we go way back. She lives in Orlando and she checked out um, about five or six hotels and she said Embassy Suites is by far the best. Um, and of course it's a Hilton. It's a, it's a new hotel so, and it's suites. So rather than hotel rooms, they're actual suites. So they're perfect for you know doubling up, sharing, doing room shares uh, to save on the cost. Uh, they're $145 per night. And you can go in, we'll be sending, when we send the information out, you'll see the rooms, they're beautiful. And it's a very nice hotel, very close to Disney World. So um, if you want to make it a family event, take, uh, take your kids, which I'm hoping to do. <laughs> so we can all go and have some fun at Disney World. Um, yes. But yes, yeah, so the Friday will be Infinity, um, pretty much all day on the Friday, Infinity training. And then Saturday and Sunday, um, it will be, you know, really just quantum consciousness, quantum resonance, whatever everybody's going to be sharing in a wonderful, in a wonderful way about um, life, not just not just the infinity. We were going to make this one really focused on the infinity, but you know, there's so many, there's so many great things to speak about, and you know, Nina Silva has a was it 700 or 900 page Rife book. Yes. So, yes. yeah, she has a lot to talk about. So we're going to well, not really everything... be so focused on the infinity. Well, everything does dovetail into the infinity, though, I must say, yeah. because everybody, no matter no matter uh, who the speaker is, everything is really about energy. And so mm -hmm. for those of you that are interested in coming, you're going to learn more about energy and Nina Silver, as uh, Karen is saying, she has written the Rife Handbook, uh, which is beautiful. It's a compila compilation of all of the different frequencies from Rife himself that have been brought forward and preserved through the years, and then other uh, doctors that have uh, followed on his heels and uh, been able to generate some beautiful uh, vibrational um, uh, frequencies to help people in their uh, endeavors for health and so Nina is again while not speaking directly about the infinity she is going to be giving you some great insight and I'm excited about Nina Silver coming and um, always uh, you can always look her up on the internet and, and see more information about her so yeah. okay Thank you. Yeah. Well, I just wanted to mention I just wanted to quickly mention that both Nina Silver and Jimmy Holman both have the infinity. So they are actually working in exactly what you said. They're actually going to be working that into their presentation. Good, good. Yeah. Yes. Sharon has her hand up. What do you want, Sharon Oyer? Um, <laughs> we just have a question to clarify. So the conference and the hotel are at the same location? Yes. yes. That's, isn't that Karen? I love that. I so love that too. Everything. Yeah. It, keep it simple, right? Yeah, keep it simple. That Catch way we the elevator and go down and get the conference right. and go back up to your room. We yeah. can crawl to our rooms at night, and uh, yeah, that's great because last year um, I love Sedona, I have to say, but uh, I don't know about any of the rest of you, but on the roundabout, we don't have roundabouts in uh, southwest Florida. Uh, however, we do here, even in Bonita Springs, we have one new roundabout. It's taken them about 25 years to make, and I just said, you know, how hard is it to make a roundabout? But anyhow, uh, the roundabouts in Sedona had us going round and round, so Sharon and I were like the little old country people come to town. Uh, <laughs> So, long, took us a long time to get where we were going. I know, it was like a 20 minute drive. So, yeah, it'd be so nice to not have to do that this time. It will. And, Excellent. Yeah. Thank so, I you, think, Karen. You know, oh, you're very welcome. Yeah, it would just be much easier for us all to stay together as a group as well. Yes, yes, absolutely. And Mickey yeah. will be there. So, um, that's what's important. Okay. Oh, one more question. <laughs> one more question coming in for you, where, Karen. Don't go away. Where does sign up okay. for this? Where, yes. did, where did they go to actually uh, register for the uh, convention? That has not come out yet. That's what Karen was just saying, that she okay. is to be sorry. watching. I'm, I'm sorry. 
a call was coming in then. Uh, the back to school promo that we've sent out twice now, um, the registration links are there and there's mm -hmm. a discount for couples. Mm -hmm. And there's an early bird, an early bird discount too. And for vendors too, we are inviting vendors to come and be there, and the vendors will actually be in the conference room. Mm -hmm. And they need to make an application to you. Just let the, you know that what they're presenting is going to be, of course, like-minded. Yes, correct? and the, yeah, the link they can actually purchase now um, from that back to school promo. Okay, um, excellent. Yeah, all the links are there. Yes, uh, but what I was saying is if you've got vendors that are wanting to set up, um, they need to let you know, they need to email you, Karen, just to make sure that, um, you know, that everybody is on the same page. Yes, right? yeah, we'll yes. be sending specific information out soon just about the conference because it was kind of mingled in with the back to school promo, so yes. some people may have missed it. Um, mm -hmm. But we already have three members um, coming, uh, three vendors mm -hmm. coming, so... Okay. Yeah, so we'll get the information out over the next few days and mm -hmm. hopefully see everybody there. Yes, so exciting. Like, so like if I'm going to sell my hula hoops there, it might not be appropriate. Is that what you're saying? No, oh, bring them. Yeah, let's make, it, let's make it a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, last question is coming in. Is there a group rate that they should ask for when they, I know this information is coming, but these people are anxious. So there will Good. be a group rate they should ask for when they call the hotel and all of that? Yes, yeah, that will all be going out in the email. Excellent, yes. And you mentioned early bird and you mentioned couples discount. Do you have old people discount? Oh, that's a good idea, huh? Maybe, it is. Yeah, when, I'll speak with the, with the hotel about that. I mean, maybe, yeah. maybe they can do something. Yeah, why not? I mean, yeah. because hey, why we not live ask? In, uh, you know, we live in Florida, so um, we know that we are in God's waiting room down here in Florida. Mm. And um, <laughs> every every single place you go, you can, if you're old, honey, you can get a discount. So, look. okay. Well, thank you for mentioning that. I will certainly ask the hotel. Okay, very good. Yeah. All thank right, you. and everybody, you can hear. The, Karen Williams is fine, aren't you, Karen Williams? I'm you okay. I'm okay. If it doesn't kill us, it makes us stronger. <laughs> Life. Yeah. No, all is well. All, all is, well. is well. Thanks, Karen. Thank all you. Right. God bless you. Okay. Well. Yeah. Thank goodness we have stress reduction systems like the Infinity to help calm us down and put us in that parasympathetic and cause our pressure to lower and our heart rate to lower and our muscles to relax and, oh, thank God. God for the infinity. Sharon was just giving you a little class there that when you are in the parasympathetic, ladies and gentlemen, that's exactly what happens. The blood pressure returns to normal. It doesn't drop out on you or anything. It returns to normal. Uh, I was just talking with a, a student or a, a, someone the other day at a, a conference or something talking about the fact that when we're in the sympathetic, even our hearing is more acute. Our vision is more acute. And so those muscles and things in the eyes and also the acoustics of the ears that's what happens you know when when we talk about people living in the sympathetic nervous system which by the way folks you're not supposed to and this has everything to do with your infinity so don't uh, think that <laughs> we're not paying attention to what you want to know about today we are we want you to know that when you're working with your infinity you are very much about shifting those clients or yourself into that parasympathetic uh, field uh, or state of being and what happens is when that takes place all of these things relax just like Sharon said your muscles relax your respiration returns to normal heart rate blood pressure all of those things return to normal so when we get people as we're aging that are coming to us and telling us you know I was just diagnosed with this eye thing or I was just diagnosed with acoustic uh, issues in my ears I was just diagnosed with high blood pressure I was just diagnosed with this 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 that and the other what happens is that when they shift to the parasympathetic and you help them to consistently do that through offering them not only um, use of working with you and your infinity app but when you also teach them how to breathe okay when you do that 
what you're doing is you are impacting their lives and you are helping them shift into that parasympathetic nervous system where those things begin to calm down and the reason that we're getting the diagnoses and they're coming so fast and so many people my age and older will say to me oh my gosh these are the golden years I'm falling apart well what happens is because your body has this amazing ability as we saw there with Deepak Chopra to renew itself moment by moment by moment but if you remain in that sympathetic nervous system and you keep the tense and the taunt uh, muscle control of the eyes and in even again the ears the keenness of the ears and the muscles around the ears um, and the, just the the body's on mode what happens is things wear out faster. If I, you know, I have a Honda that's a four-cylinder, okay, and so when I get out on I-75, if I keep that thing to the floor and I drive it that way the entire day and week and six months, I'm going to wear my car out a lot faster than if I drive in a more normal state. So anything anything if you look around you if it stays in a state of heightened use what happens it wears out faster and even though we know that Deepak Chopra just taught us a moment ago that we renew moment by moment I want you to think about your cells and this is something that's very important too and this has to do with what you're what you're working with here when what happens is as we age um, more and more of the cells of part of the 125 trillion cells that make up your body as those cells become dehydrated stressed out not functioning as well as they should because of lack of nutrients or lack of blood flow or whatever it is uh, which reminds me to tell you talk to me about a beamer speaking about enhanced blood flow the beamer fantastic product um, helps with that but if we stay in that state of having uh, deficiencies that are ongoing those cells as they become uh, two cells and they have daughter cells and they reproduce the cells that are being reproduced are not as healthy as the original cells so that's why we begin to see this descent into disease and disorder uh, because of the fact that we are staying in that heightened sense of the sympathetic nervous system and then we are slowly slowly infiltrating every cell in our body to respond inappropriately uh, based on again lack of blood flow lack of nutrients lack of oxygen lack of water so you want to be working with your clients and teaching them that biofeedback is not I'm going to work on you today and this afternoon you are ta -da, at the top of your game no uh, they usually do get a real nice boost but that's because you have shifted them to the parasympathetic and they're feeling oh just that moment of relax but what you want to do is teach your clients or yourself that this is an ongoing uh, type of therapy you want to be working with their body ongoing for a period of time until the body has made shifts and created new neural pathways to health so it's about educating your clients always and these are things that we talk about in all of our courses and classes too okay Sharon you said there were some questions that were there yes and here's a comment that just came in when you were talking about the Honda four-cylinder a suggestion yeah. would be for you to get a six-cylinder <laughs> yeah okay Thank you for that suggestion yeah okay Here's a question that had come in a couple of weeks ago, and we kind of got waylaid on all the issues and so forth. But we're going to come back to this. This is from well, this was from Mary Maretta and Donna, and I see that they are on the call today. Uh, have you worked with RSD at all with uh, your Infinity? I I have not with that specifically, um, and. I, I did I cannot remember the um, the what that what those letters stand for uh, but um, I do know that and actually maybe uh, Donna just type that into Sharon so that we can say what it really means are 
um, whatever those call letters are. But I will tell you this as you're typing there frantically, I hope, uh, that this is going to be a disorder of the autonomic nervous center, uh, system. Uh, so is she typing that in? Okay. Well, when you get a chance, um, actually, uh, Donna, if you're on that call, Donna, uh, can you hear me? Or can uh, I've unmuted you? Hi. hi. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Tell me what that stands for again. It's reflex sympathetic dystrophy or chronic yes. regional. They renamed it chronic regional pain syndrome. I'm sorry, I have nowhere to type it is the problem, okay? There's no <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, that's okay, Donna. Hi. Um, yes, um, actually, what, what she's saying there again is it is a chronic state of a hyper reaction in the body to a pain, uh, and it becomes like a pain, uh, as she says, syndrome. And, and the reason uh, that that's taking place is when we have pain in the body, when it is chronic and ongoing, which chronic means ongoing, what happens is, just what I was saying a moment ago, is that the body actually creates new neural pathways. And so it ingrains the body's responses, and it actually, uh, what do I want to say, it actually... Um, uh, uh, the brain just kind of goes, okay, this is the new norm. And so what happens is they give you pills for a while or they give you some type of, of intervention for a while and then consequently what happens is the body becomes again very um, immune to whatever it is they're giving you because the body again has just become immune and created new neural pathways around different situations. So when we have chronic pain, what it's telling you is that you are in the sympathetic nervous system. And I think I mentioned Sedona, didn't I, Donna? Wasn't it you and I that we were chatting there? Yes. 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 Yeah. yes. Okay. Um, it's so important. Honestly, I'm not jerking your chain uh, people, it is so important that you shift that body to the sympathetic nervous system. If you do not do that, the body will stay in that chronic pain syndrome. It is something that you must do. And, um, you know, uh, again, one of the, the classes that uh, Sharon teaches is all about um, stress management and it is so important that we actually get our fingers right there that we actually run these scans that um, help your body to identify those areas of stress and then that you begin to shift that body back um, I know sometimes we sound like a broken record with that and I do apologize about that in one sense but in another sense you know what? For every question you have, the answer is almost always the same. The pathway may be a little bit different, how we're going to get there, but we want you to know that this is paramount importance. Let's look at this right here, right here on your screen. Ta-da! Autonomic nervous system. The autonomic nervous system for our intention this morning is split into two separate parts, the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system. You need both parts to be alive and functioning in this world, okay? So I don't want to make the sympathetic nervous system this evil place. But I do want to say to you that people who have PTSD, and many of you probably do have that post-traumatic stress disorder, um, what happens is you are shifted to the sympathetic and you are now living in that mode. So we see that the blood pressure is up, we see respiration is up, we see again as I was talking about earlier we see that the the eyes are, are, are having issues, that the ear, the hearing is having issues um, because of the fact the the limbic system is involved in this too and so we're not able to make uh, the proper decisions. Um, we we are bypassing the body's um, 
uh, what do I want to say? Decision-making modes. We we don't even we're not even capable of that any longer uh, to do that uh, and think clearly at that time because we have spent so much time in the sympathetic nervous system. So Donna, if you gals will work on this and do diligently work on it, not just for a few minutes and I know I know as a practitioner for many many years is that when somebody comes into you with a dis-ease or a disorder and they come in and they sit down in your chair and you start talking to them about stress they look at you kind of blankly and then they go yeah mm -hmm. well yeah but I have this I have this they want to get they want to cut right to the chase and they want to say I have this diagnosis and I say to them okay but everything is related to stress and there you know when I you know continue on that that uh, point sometimes it's very irritating for people because they're saying doesn't everybody have stress and I say yes and everyone expresses it a little bit differently and manifests it a little bit differently but your body is manifesting it in this state of being and so when I can shift them to the parasympathetic and they begin to see a lessening in those symptoms what happens is the next couple times they come in they say I don't get it I don't get it but I feel better I'm sleeping better this is different this has changed um, believe me you're working with the human body and the human body does have some rules and some regulations and the it is ruled and regulated by the central nervous system right and the quantum field around that and it is ruled by whether you're in the sympathetic or the parasympathetic that is what predicates your experience so when you're working with your clients as I started to say when I have somebody with disease and disorder I always want to jump right into the disease and disorder too I always want to make sure that I'm you know finding out what what the stressors are for that and I'm on 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 that but you know what I found in 15 years and you can take this to the bank that if you do not shift your clients and get them so that their bodies are moving away from the sympathetic as its norm and back towards this neutral area and even into the parasympathetic what happens nothing good and nothing long term so take your time if the first three or four sessions you do nothing but work in this panel so be it so be it don't you know so many of you come to us and you have you've been burned by the medical field or at least that's your perception of it what happens is then you're wanting to do something holistic but yet so many of you don't really want to do anything holistic you just want to get in and push a button that's going to take away something that's of a physical nature I am going to tell you over and over and over and over and over again you must you must work with that nervous system because once you shift that and once that client is staying more often and long for longer periods of time in the parasympathetic symptoms begin to dissolve diseases begin to go away that is the way the body works it has innate wisdom follow along with that that's what holistic medicine that's what energy medicine is all about we're not Western medicine we are energy medicine and so we're giving you the whole secret right now shift to that parasympathetic get that client there and then everything that you do with them their body has a greatly enhanced ability to accept that vibration make those changes and then what you want to do is you want to support those changes for several weeks in a row and you don't want to jump all over the screen and go here there and everywhere you want to focus in focus in shift that to the parasympathetic and then begin to again balance other areas don't worry about the diseases and I know that sounds very I know some of you don't want to hear that and I'm sorry about that um, but don't worry about the disease you want to worry about what is creating the disease that's what you want to work with are the stressors the and disease is, I'm sorry 
was just going to say the disease is only a name for symptoms. All That's that all that is. Right. What we're trying to do is find the underlying symptoms, what's causing the symptoms. So Donna, I want you really to get into that sympathetic. Stay there longer. Don't jump all over the place in the, in the device. Get yourself to the sympathetic. Don't forget the nose years, okay? This is a, you know, we have a, a fantastic device. You hear me say this every week. Look at the nose years, okay? This is on your customized panel. See this down here? It's a question mark. I'm going to tap that question mark. It's going to take me right here, and it's going to tell me what the nose years were for, okay? And then down here, it gives you another fantastic little blip of information, analgesic frequencies. Hello, isn't that for pain? Okay, E and G, regenerating frequencies, A, B, and F, muscle relaxing frequencies, C, D, and G. So if it was me, I would be going, okay, I'm going to do some analgesic for myself today and just get my body to calm down a little bit and then... I'm going to do maybe regenerating frequencies or whatever. But right now, I'm going to say, this is what I want to do. I want to take care of, here's E. Mm. And then we know that the other one for pain is G. So maybe I would put that down here. Actually, I would. And then I would just run my timers along the side like this till I was at 1 and 1 hit my MEP, set that for, you know, four or five minutes, hit that button, and let her rip. And the reason I would do that is I want to create that chaos, that energetic chaos there, um, so that I am uh, breaking up areas of ener stagnant energy, okay? And so I'm taking those two signals, the E and the G, that are for analgesic, and I'm working with those. And uh, Donna, I would think that you would have very, very swift responses. Um, and again, I have said this many times on the call, and for those of you who are new, you will hear me say this over and over. Less is more. Less is more. Do not override, okay? Do not override uh, your body. You, If you have been chronically ill for a long period of time, I am going to say this very strongly to you, or if you have had an ongoing situation for quite a while, do not put your device on and let it run all night long. Don't put it on for an hour and let it run all night long. Uh, I want you to think of this. When you are weakened from the flu, all of us have on the call, I'm sure, have had the flu at one time or another. Um, it hits you all of a sudden. You're down for two days. On the third day, you rise again. And, and basically what happens is you only rise for a few minutes, and you're like, oh, boy, this doesn't feel so good to me. Your body takes time to regenerate, to rebuild the energy field around it. Pay attention. Do not override that energy field, okay? Please, I'm asking you to pay attention to those things. Okay, Sharon. Good, thank you. Uh, here's a great question from Susan. I know a lot of people deal with this particular issue, and it's pain. Um, she's saying, what areas in the quantum are good to combat acute or chronic pain? What happened is she broke her arm, so she has some acute and some chronic pain with that. Mm -hmm. um, she's wondering if she needs some customized panels with that. She has used the two-week trial version after the break, but was not able to get the pain down very well. Mm -hmm. I plan on getting the app this week. Good for you, and would like to get for you, um, Susan. <laughs> get better at this. So, yes. uh, what would you suggest in the meantime for her? Okay. Pain? Great First, question. It is a great question, and thank you, Susan, and welcome to the family, and I know we've been chit-chatting with you, so welcome, and welcome to Wednesday mornings. Um, I am going to say exactly what I just did say here, um, that you can see we're using in the customized panel here, as you saw, analgesic is E and G, okay? So you saw what I did there. I put E in the top and G in the bottom, and then I did my MEP, which is right here in the middle of the screen. 
Okay, and I'm also going to take you back here, tap, because I want you to uh, take a look at some of these. We see regenerating frequencies right in here. This is A, B, and F. You can put them all either in the top or all in the bottom, or you can split them up however you would like to. Um, so that is something for uh, which you would have, again, regenerating um, frequencies to help with the, the the regeneration of the bones and things like that. So um, also if you've had any kind of wounds or anything like that you can see up there in the uh, frequency A that is for action on the tissues of wounds, epithelia tumors and epidermal reactions, things like that. So if you've had any issues there you might want to add that in. Um, read through these. These are very very important things. You can see here E is for pain and nerve conduction. You can see here that F, okay, I know you can't see it real easily, but F, this frequency, which is 73 hertz, is for brain, but also bone reconstruction. So I would encourage you to use those, okay? I would also encourage you to, let's um, get out of this particular panel that we're in, Okay, and I would encourage you to build your own panels. You said you broke your arm. Uh, I don't know where you broke your arm. Uh, my father broke his shoulder and the upper uh, bones in his uh, arm and into the shoulder. And as you can see here, I have created a very specific um, program for him. I'm just going to tap my eye. And what I've done is all of the... Uh, the bones of the arm and shoulder that I'm aware of I listed in here okay and so when I was working with him I was able to actually put that in to uh, the customized area and run a scan and work with him as you can see I added nerves of the arm and the hand muscles of the shoulder and the arm I want to tell you this story because it's kind of been ongoing for some of you who have been on the call I had a client who was um, whose mother was uh, is uh, in Romania she was beaten robbed mugged beaten left for uh, dead on the side of the street and uh, she was taken to the hospital she had broken hips she had broken uh, leg shoulder and to be very honest I created this whole panel for her originally but then used it on my father actually when he broke his uh, but you can see all of these are really fantastic uh, ways of creating panels that allow you to work specifically with those areas so for instance if I was to take bones and shoulder I now have that in there okay I'm talking directly to you Susan on this but it's important for everybody to see this what I did was I was able to after I ascertained through the evaluation here what was in need um, I'm going to get this out of there I was able to take the different areas that were out of balance let's say we're going to take this we're going to take this these were chronic okay and we may take the ulna and put that down there so we've got three things in there and then you can go back okay undo that and then go down and do the muscles okay put those in and then scan that and then take those muscles once that scan has taken place and drop them in up in the balance RX and again you can use your MEP which is multi element phase which is right here you can see it right behind my 3D graphics here and I would drag those and put those up in this particular area okay and so as you all know I don't put I don't overwhelm I don't put six seven eight nine ten things up there I you I, I tell you depending on certain panels I'm I'm certainly okay if you put five or six things in there but if you want a more focused less is more if you want a more focused so that you know which ones are balancing but in your situation Susan um, it's okay to put five or six things up there uh, five or six things in the bottom down there the multi-layer hit your MEP and then do you know 
five, ten minutes, depending on how many items. Give them each, you know, about a minute. Uh, so if I have 12 items in there, maybe I would set it for 10 to 12 minutes, and I would let it run. Then I would also suggest to you, again, to look at the nose years, and if you want to, to add in for the pain, drop in the E and the G. So now you have a whole session going on, very specific to what you're dealing with, and very specific to the pain and everybody can create these panels. Um, we will be uh, demystifying that in the proficiency training. Uh, not that it has been mystified, that's a misnomer, I shouldn't say that, but um, what I want to say is we're going to, we teach you that in the proficiency training, how you want to create these panels. And so it's, it's really, again, like I say to you every week, this is an exciting device. Get happy. Right, Sharon? That's right. Susan said that uh, she broke uh, her near her wrist, radius mm -hmm. and ulna, and she did create a customized panel with the Good. head of the radius, etc., even the angle of the radius head. Wow. Interesting. Uh, make sure you do nerves and muscles too, Susan, because the nerves, of course, are what's carrying what? The signal. Because the bones themselves, things like that, they don't have uh, feeling, uh, they're not generating the actual pain, uh, they're the problem, but it's the nerves traveling at 249 miles per hour throughout the body that is sending the information back and forth and it's saying, uh-oh, I, I, yeah, I got to have some pain there. Uh-oh, keep that pain coming, keep that pain coming. So again, what you're doing is you're avoiding the body generating a chronic state of a pain syndrome by working with the nerves, by working with these different areas. And uh, oftentimes after people have had broken bones and things like that, or their shoulders or their knees or something, they do, or their hips, they tend to have a lot of ongoing discomfort there. So uh, what I've done with my father is I've just maintained uh, doing sessions, you know, to help with the nerves and things like that so that the body is not getting into a rut with those nerve responses. Okay. There are two books I want to recommend real quickly that we use in our anatomy and physiology course that we offer at our academy. The Essential Atlas of Physiology and the Essential Atlas of Anatomy. If you're looking for a real simple uh, books to uh, show you with charts and beautiful graphics the nerves of the body, the uh, the muscles of the body and so forth. Uh, those two books are phenomenal. Um, again, they're very easy to understand. Beautiful graphics. That's Barron's, B-A-R-R-O-N-S, Essential Atlas of Anatomy is what actually has the charts in it and well both and physiology. If you go to our uh, education website biofeedbackedu.com, you can check on the bookstore link and they're there. They're only like 10 to $15 each, so they're very inexpensive and that's why we use them in our academy as well. So I just want to make note of that. Um, Excellent. Dolores is asking, um, oh, let me go back to Susan, she has a follow-up. With the nosures, E and G, that makes 14, so would it be 14 minutes with MEP? Um, I would st I would start out first. Um, I like to run things about a minute a piece like that, so you could certainly do that. Um, <clears throat> sometimes I start out a little bit less, maybe around 10, just to see how the body's going to respond. But certainly 14 would be appropriate a minute a piece. Yes, I have no problem with that. And and I would suggest that you do it. You know, you could do it in the morning and in the evening, especially before you get ready to go to bed at night. Uh, you could just put your device on. Uh, you're not going to run them all night, okay? But you could put your device on, and if you fall asleep once it's uh, stopped that 14 minutes, that's okay because it's not sending you any more energy right at that point in time, and it allows your body as it's getting ready to go into its regenerative states at, at night while you're sleeping, it would allow your body to uh, take those energies and use them probably more efficiently. Okay. Yes. And I would also recommend uh, that you keep eating that watermelon, and she will know what I mean by that. Uh, we only have a couple minutes left, left, so last question from Dolores. Do you have a lot of extra panels that you use with people, or do you rely mostly on the stress response panel and the standard quantum infinity panels? 
That's a good question. What is your professional recommendation, Brenda Judah? Yes, yes. My professional recommendation is exactly what you're saying, Dolores. I know you see a lot of panels on my screen, but I will tell you uh, when I go to that background, the reason I have a lot of panels is because people have accidentally been in my Dropbox. Okay, so I ended up with all these panels when I redid mine. Uh, <laughs> rebooted and put it on a new computer. So to be very honest, I use the two stress panels. I use the uh, panels that I just was showing to you uh, for the customize there for uh, Academy. Uh, those and then our stress panels are really um, the main panels that we use and then I use the panels that are within the infinity I have said this all along the infinity just as it stands is a phenomenal product the meridians also Susan while I'm just thinking about this the meridians are really a, a great place to go also for pain so please be using the meridian panel and just do just follow what the body tells you there um, so yes and and that was a great uh, question uh, Dolores thank you for that because I do tend to use mostly just the panels that are there except for those that I have mentioned to you and I think you pretty probably everybody knows that because on the call I don't show you 10,000 different things and different panels and things like that because again I try to stay away from uh, generating a lot of uh, additional panels for diseases and disorders I, I don't do that um, I do have uh, somebody here on the call today that has some issues with tinnitus um, or tinnitus uh, as it's called it used to be tinnitus I always heard that so if I'm stepping on anybody's toes by saying that sorry about that uh, but what we have done uh, the client and myself we have put together panels specific to her situation and uh, in that uh, we have talked about nerves and we have talked about nutritions um, and those things are all part and parcel of her specific panel so if I do have a client that has a specific need I will generate specific panels for that client if I am not getting um, what I want from the panels that are already existing thank you yes we did have a question about tinnitus or tinnitus I've learned that as well that we will address next time because um, we are out of time and Dolores you do get 50,000 bonus points for your comment that you sent in about enjoying Brenda's sense of humor oh cool 50,000 points I, I get to hear these really neat uh, or see these neat comments that come in and I do share them with Brenda after the call because she's concentrating on teaching rather than reading your messages but we do uh, I do share these things with her so thank you yeah, thank you thank you and now Susan I'm going to get some watermelon so that sounded so good to me and we are in Southwest Florida and it's right at the height of the season I think so thank you so much again and everybody keep the faith stay strong um, you know what you are all doing the right things uh, we want to encourage you once again to pay attention to getting into that parasympathetic nervous system you are never alone you are never 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 alone in the experience of working in this field holistically remember Donna promise me that you will move forward and shift your body back into that parasympathetic that is the only time that your body will heal it is so important that we get great sleep okay that's another uh, thought if anybody is interested I know we don't usually use these calls to sell anything else but I will tell you that we are distributors of the Beamer and it is a fantastic adjunct to our infinity beautiful product and we just came back from a, um, a great convention and you know I kept looking at Sharon going yeah this dovetails into who we are we're on board so uh, want to make sure that you're getting into good sleep you know they they tell us that over 68 percent of the population never reaches REM sleep which is rapid eye movement sleep which is the time in the sleep cycle where our body regenerates that is huge people no wonder we are these walking ticking time bombs because we never get to sleep maybe next week we'll talk a little bit about sleep that'll depend on you okay till then light 
love and blessings, and we'll see you again next week.